I am a flying fish that swims the ocean, waiting to be caught and eaten by the Brit, or rarely by the African. Many of the Africans have joined me in the ocean, and we have become food for each other. I am a source of sustenance for the enslaved and a symbol of the island, a collaboration with breadfruit and cuckoo, sustenance for the Africans in America. I am a symbol of sea and air, escaping predators from below and above. I am a flying fish, escaping to the air and returning to the sea. I am a symbol of migration and immigration, and I am a Barbadian. What is a nation? What is nationalism? What will you die for? And what will you kill for? What is allegiance and what is agency? What is tolerable? What can we do? Where is my place? What is the impulse to move? And how do I decide when I have arrived? What is the new African diaspora? Hello, family. My name is Linda Paris Bailey, and for the past Thank you. <laughs> and for the past 45 years, I have been writing for and performing with the Carpetbag Theater in Knoxville, Tennessee. I'm a storyteller that writes plays and plays with music. And as we say at Carpetbag, um, we reveal, reclaim, and reframe stories. Now, the um, bookends of my work, my successful work as a playwright, might be considered um, dark cowgirls and prairie queens. And the end to date would probably be considered um, Speed Killed My Cousin. And there are others, you know, in between. But what I want to share with you this evening is the fact that I'm making a transition. And I am evolving from being an ensemble playwright to a solo playwright looking for support for projects that I am passionate about, without the approval of my ensemble company, I should say. And I've described myself as a storyteller. So obviously, I should begin with a story. Now, this is a photo of my father. He's the last of the family to hold dual citizenship in Barbados and the US. And my sister, who is my personal assistant, and um, she's lived in Saudi Arabia for the past 24 or so years. And she's worked with ESL teachers and with immigrant communities and expatriates and nomads and exiles. And she was trying to tell her Kenyan friend about Yankee Bajan. The story, as she described the play, of an American family that migrates to the small island of Barbados, becoming US expatriates. And her friend from Kenya kept shaking her head from side to side and frowning. And she said, why would anyone leave the US and go to a small island in the Caribbean? It doesn't make sense. It's crazy. Now, you see this photo above me. It's a photo of a Bayesian taxi driver. Now, for those unfamiliar with the island of Barbados, the way that Barbadians often refer to themselves is as Bayesians. And any of you out there who identify as Bayesian or of Bayesian ascent, raise your hand now. Hey! Charlotte, we already know. This story is for you. You see, on a trip to Barbados some years ago, my mother became ill and was hospitalized on the island. My older brother and my sister and I were tasked with getting her medications from the hotel and also from the pharmacy. And we were arguing about which we should do first, the hotel, the pharmacy, and the taxi driver was waiting patiently for us to make up our mind. 
He is shifting from one foot to the other. Now, Bayesians are very British, especially about time. But uh, time is money, and the taxi driver was trying to make the best of a situation. So he said, no hurry. So we are still arguing in the backseat, but we finally take off, and I hear the driver say under his breath, Yankee Bayesian. What did he say? He said Yankee Bayesian. Now, the term is self-explanatory, but I began to ruminate about what it means to be a Yankee Bayesian. What are the prejudices and biases about those who attempt to come home? with dual citizenship, those who would be expatriates from the US, Canada, and England. What does it mean to return to a home that was never your home except in the blood? What does it mean to migrate from one country to another? What is the home place? What is the journey? What is the diaspora that we are looking for? Why would one think that America has become so dangerous for young black men and women that they would move them back to some almost mythic home place. What exactly are we seeking? So Yankee Bajan takes a somewhat satirical look at all of these questions and seeks to examine what it means to live in that new diaspora. Now, raise your hand if you have at one time or another said, if blank happens, I'm leaving this motherfucker. I, oh, I see your hands out there. If Donald Trump gets elected, if there's another, y'all missed that one. If there's another school shooting, or if one more black man or woman is killed by the police, well, this family makes good on that promise. So with my time running out, what do I need? As I make the transition from yeah. ensemble practitioner to Our solo playwright, I need a community word. of support and you can be that community. Thank you. I, like coming home to the rock, I, need, I need host spaces to bring five to seven Bayesian college students, performers, and musicians to work with me as I weave the Bayesian voices into my story. I'm working with the University of West Indies Cave Hill campus at the moment, and we're talking about that exchange. I need a retreat center to complete this script. I need a connection with the U.S. Bayesian communities. I'm working with Rosie Golden Wallace for introductions at the Barbadian Embassy in Miami and would like to cultivate those relationships. I need a dramaturg and director. I'm already talking to Charlotte, who is looking at her timeline and availability. And Paul, um, I did call you back. I need a producer with theater space for rehearsals, previews. I need designers, and this is the most important, that can translate the image of the flying fish into this production fully. I think that's all the time I have. So I will simply thank Creative Capital and those who have supported this work thus far, especially, and also Doris Duke, and those who've supported Carpetbag Theater. It's my heart and my love in major ways in the years. And you know who you are, NPN, Nepo, Roots, Net, Rauschenberg, Ford, Mellon, Cockrum, and NEA and TAC. I thank you. I invite you to be Bayesian. Crank that music up.